used to always have to, of course, sponsor and sell, um, but now you're leading a team that's counting on you. So when you're leading, just like I said, with the sales, with getting the degree, you want to sell as much as you can because the people in your company are watching you, but they'll continue to watch you on your journey because they're following you. So if you're the kind of leader that has a team page and you're only posting in there every couple days or even just it, once a day is not enough, in, in my opinion, for me. Um, once you get into leadership, you need to be, you need to be there for them 100% all the time. You need to inspire, you need to uplift, you need to encourage them, you need to give them the tools that they need to succeed. It is, it's up to you to give them what they need because they don't always know where to find it, right? So if you wanna to continue to succeed, you have to help them to do the same thing. Show them where to go to get the information that they need. Reach down in to your success line. I, I know so many people um, on, in my success line. I don't just talk to people who are in my first, second, third generations just because those are the only people that I really you know, benefit from financially. I go all the way down, four, fifth, six, seven, I, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I get messages from people all day long. Sometimes I'm not sure who they are, but I'm, I want to get to know them. You know, I want to help them. You know, so you, you really need to dig deep and work every single day to help every single person you can to achieve what they want. Maybe that's they, they want to get to yellow that month, or they want to get to pink, or they want to get to blue, they want to get to green, just like you had just said. Um, so you need to just continue to help them. Post videos, um, post your own videos. When you're leading, um, one thing that works for me very well is I will post a video of me in my team page. Personally, I don't do it on Periscope. I don't do Facebook Live to communicate with my team because I feel like that's my business, it's their business. It's not of everybody on Periscope's business. That's just me. You guys, you know, that's your thing and you know, you wanna be like a newscaster on Periscope talking about it. That's cool. But, me personally, I'm out to reach my team. I don't need I don't need the masses to see my success. I want my team to see my success so that they can do the same thing. So once you have this team page and you're starting to lead, you've got to do that. You got, you've got to communicate. You want them to know who you are. You don't want your seventh or eighth generation to say, I'm not really sure who my upline is. I really don't know. They should know who you are. Don't be that leader that is untouchable. You know what I mean? Like, oh. I can't talk, I don't want to talk to you, uh, my purple status leader or my black status leader, like they don't have time for me. That's not true and you don't want to be that leader. You really don't. Um, so what I try to do is I try to recognize everybody. I also, like recognition is huge. So on your leader pages, on your pages where, you know, your, uh, your team pages, you'll always want to recognize people as they advance. Now, now you can't, go into all the generations and do that. Obviously that's up to their sponsors to do, but teach the people under you to do the same thing. So you want them to, somebody makes it to yellow, congratulate them. Now in my team page, I think a lot of my success is due to the relationships that I have formed with my team. Um, they have, I've kind of been able to get them all very engaged on the team page. I do things, I, I, I assign activities, I don't. I make it fun usually, but I, I'll have them do exercises that are um, going to be something that will be, um, that they can benefit from where they can make more money, a money making activity, but something that's fun. And then they all kind of like, just it's, it turns into like almost a game, you know what I mean? Like, okay, let's say for instance, today, I want you all to do a uh, wake up to make up video uh, picture and I want you to post it on your Facebook and I want you to post it here too. They love that and it keeps them all engaged. And I do it too. Like if I'm not gonna tell you to do it and I'm not gonna do it, you know what I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Or I'll assign um, things like, you know, doing videos or doing vision boards. Vision boards are huge. That's a great tool for leadership. Um, I don't know if any of you have done any like virtual vision boards um, Jack Canfield has one, and that's something I do in my team pages, where you can make a visual, um, like a digital kind of 
vision board kind of thing. And we share it, and then I give out a prize for the most creative one or whatever. And so this way, I'm keeping them all engaged, and they all still know me. Like, if you want to lead, and you want these people to know who you are, and know that they can come to you for help. So, now, getting to green, <laughs> it, it's such a big deal for so many reasons. It's like a huge accomplishment, right? And that's like major. Um, for me, I kind of, <laughs> I mean like honestly, I didn't know even what it meant. Um, <laughs> I signed up and I had, I signed up some rock stars under me right away. Um, it was crazy. I was blue and green in the same week. So I was just kind of getting used to what blue meant. Wow. And then I went green. And I remember them putting me in the leadership board and the elite, or whatever it was, an elite board or something they put me in. And I'm like, oh, I'm really happy to be here. And then I'm like, I guess I made it to green. And I remember a few people saying, what do you mean you guessed you're happy to be to green? I'm like, you know what happened? Like, I don't even know how this even happened to me. You know, it was like, it was like crazy. But since then, I've taught so many, like, I, I had to backtrack. Like, I, I guess I kind of had a, a way of knowing what to do. I kind of had no choice. Um, so I backtracked and kind of like put it all together. Like, okay, this is what I did, but realistically, how long does it really take? So getting to green, like, I don't want anybody to ever feel discouraged if it takes you, you know, some people can get to green in two or three months, and for some people it might take six months, and some people it might take a year or two years. It's, and that's okay. That's the way you want to do it. You know what I mean? Not everybody wants to get to green in two months. It, it's not like that. So you can never compare yourself to other people. You want to just, you know, once you've decided that you want to get to green, whether it's tomorrow or whether it's six months from now, that day that you decided, you need to say it. You need to say it out loud. You need to tell your sponsor. You need to tell your team. You need to write it down on paper, put it on a vision board, whatever it is that you need to do. You need to do those things, proclaim it, and then you need to actually take the actions to do it. And by action, I mean this action is going to have to be going on all day long, for the whole month. You know, this isn't something that you're going to be able to say, oh, well, one day I'm just not going to try to work on green today. I'm just too busy. No, 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 no. It's not going to work like that. You can't just disappear. You can't disappear from your team, and you can't try to achieve something big like that and not make the commitment to do it every single day. So <laughs> that's what I have on getting to green. Um, I think that the, the, the other thing I wanted, one thing I wanted to touch on was this. Once you do get to green, you know that you're going to want to go further, obviously. So now you're green, what's next? Want to more green again? Yeah. Do you want to go to Unify? Yep. Right. And elites under you. you have now you want you want to you yeah. want to make more elites. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the hard part. So making more elites, <clears throat> you're, so you're duplicating. You're duplicating. You're doing the same things over. You're teaching everybody the same things. Beware. <laughs> Beware of the circle sales. Always, always pay attention to that because once you're green and you start building other greens under you, you better still be working your business better still be sponsoring, you better still be hosting parties, you better still be selling. Because as you build other leaders under you, they break away from you and they've taken away their circle sales from you. So you always have to make sure that you can maintain. So you have to make sure that you're still building more of a bigger team so that your circle sales stay at 2,000. You have to have $2,000 in circle sales to get pages green, okay? I made that mistake. I got so caught up my team grew really fast. I got so caught up in training my team and trying to keep up. I mean, I was really like overwhelmed at some times, you know, like all these people kept being added to my team and we were a newer company, so not everybody even knew how to lead yet. So I kind of like had to jump in and learn how to do those things. I had my, my first few people that I signed up that were growing with me, um, Nikki Rosina and Sherry Smith, were two of my first people that signed up with me and they're my first elites also. So we kind of grew together 